As we all know, Earth has a history of 4.6 billion years. The history of human civilization is less than 10,000 years. If we consider the lifespan of Earth as 24 hours, the history of human civilization is less than 0.2 seconds, even shorter than the blink of an eye. People can't help but ask, during the long span of Earth's existence, have there been other civilizations? Have there been more advanced ancient civilizations? The continuous emergence of archaeological sites, artifacts, and mysterious phenomena seems to convey a message. Human civilization is not the only one on Earth. Prehistoric civilizations, and even extraterrestrial civilizations, have appeared on Earth. However, due to various reasons, they have been submerged in the river of history, waiting for us to explore. Shoe prints hundreds of millions of years ago. In 1968, William Meister searched for trilobite fossils in formations near Antelope Springs, Utah, USA. After he opened one of the slabs, he found a fossil that looked like a human shoe print. There is a trilobite under the heel. This shoe print is about 26 cm long and 8.9 cm wide. Judging from the 1.5 cm depression in the heel part of the shoe print, this is a pair of shoes similar to the flat shoes worn by modern people. Researchers at the University of Utah have determined that this fossil is of natural origin and dates back at least 200 million years. This is because trilobites were organisms that thrived between 600 million to 200 million years ago. Therefore, it can be inferred that at least 200 million years ago, there may have been advanced life forms like humans walking on this planet. Coincidentally, in March 1997, Hai Tao, a Chinese geography teacher, collected a shoe print fossil in Hongshan, Arumqi, and there was a small ancient codfish on the heel of the print. The fossil is about 270 million years old. The total length of the shoe print is 26 centimeters, with a wider front and a narrower back, and exhibits double stitch marks. The left side of the shoe print is clearer than the right side, with a shallow depression in the middle and deeper at both ends, closely resembling a human left shoe imprint. Who left these shoe prints? Was it an advanced life form like humans or extraterrestrial beings? If life and civilization already existed on Earth hundreds of millions of years ago, can we boldly speculate that life and civilization have appeared on Earth more than once? Astronaut on the Palenque Slab. On June 5, 1952, in the ruins of a temple in the ancient Mayan city of Palenque, Mexico, a stone slab was excavated, featuring engravings of figures and patterns. The slab measures 3.80 meters in length, 2.20 meters in width, and 25 centimeters in thickness. At the time, it did not receive much attention. It was only in the 1960s, after humans first ventured into space, that this stone slab caught the attention of scientists. The depicted patterns on the slab left people shocked. It was a depiction of a human-operated flying craft. The details on the slab were remarkably clear, showing the craft's air intake, exhaust pipe, control stick, and other components. The figure in the artwork had an oxygen tube attached to his nose, his hands were maneuvering the spacecraft, and his foot was on something resembling a throttle, suggesting he was navigating through space. The history of this stone slab can be traced back to the Maya civilization period, approximately 4,500 years ago. Some speculate that extraterrestrial civilizations may have visited the ancient Maya city. It is also possible that there existed highly intelligent life forms there. The mysterious disappearance of the Maya civilization further fuels people's boundless imagination. Ancient Nuclear War There is a site of the ancient Indian civilization in the southern region of Pakistan called Mahenjo Daro. It was built around 2600 BC, over 4600 years ago. Scientists, by studying the scale and layout of the site, have discovered that at least 100,000 people inhabited this city, making it a significant urban center of its time. However, 
What is eerie is that this great city was wiped out overnight. In fact, the reason behind the destruction of Mahenjo Daro has always been a mystery in the scientific community. Among various speculations such as floods, epidemics, meteorites, and even extraterrestrial invasion, nuclear explosion comes closer to the truth. A large number of human skeletal remains have been unearthed at Mahenjo Daro. Through the reconstruction of 46 skeletons found at different locations, it was discovered that some individuals were walking in the streets, some were doing laundry, and many were inside their living spaces. Among them, there was a group of people who were found lying in rows on the ground, with some covering their faces with their hands. Research revealed that they all experienced instantaneous death and were killed by extremely high temperatures. The traces of the explosion in the ruins changed gradually from the inside to the outside. Vitrified soil was found near the center of the ruins. This type of vitrified soil only occurs in high temperature and high radiation environments, further substantiating the possibility of a nuclear explosion. Of course, at first scientists suspected that it was a meteorite impact, but instead of finding any traces of meteorites around the ruins, they found some isotopes that are only produced by nuclear explosions. How powerful was the nuclear bomb that destroyed this city? Scientists estimate that the power of this nuclear bomb was comparable to the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima by the United States. In the famous Indian epic Mahabharata, there is a description of a weapon that adds a footnote to this ancient nuclear explosion. It is written, a blazing pillar of smoke and flame, bright as ten thousand suns, rose in all its splendor. It was an unknown weapon, an iron thunderbolt, a messenger of death, which turned the entire city into ashes. Strong winds rose, accompanied by thunderous clouds, and a rain of dust and gravel fell. Bodies were burned beyond recognition, hair and nails fell out. Even food became poisonous. However, where did the nuclear bomb come from 4,600 years ago? Perhaps the scientific and technological level at that time had reached what we have today, or maybe extraterrestrial life was involved in all of this. Remains of Ancient Structures Within the architectural remnants left by ancient civilizations, there are numerous unexplained phenomena that tell us that advanced civilizations once existed there. The most famous example is the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt. It covers an area of 13.1 acres and was constructed using nearly 2.6 million massive stones, each weighing at least 2.5 tons, totaling 6.25 million tons. How did the ancient Egyptians manage to construct the pyramid using such large stone blocks? There was no cement or adhesive material between the stones and the pyramid structure. Instead, each stone was placed on top of another, carefully cut and polished to create a smooth surface. It is difficult for a sharp blade to penetrate the gaps between the stones. How did the ancient Egyptians possess such advanced architectural techniques? Nazca Lines in Peru The Nazca Lines in Peru are among the largest fossilized remnants in the world and one of the most famous enigmatic sites. The Nazca Lines are a series of massive ground figures located on the Nazca Desert in southern Peru. They dated back to a period between 500 BCE and 500 CE. Around 300 patterns were carved into the desert, featuring straight lines, geometric shapes, and various animals. The total length of the lines exceeds 1,300 kilometers, covering an area of approximately 50 square kilometers. In fact, many people question how such massive lines were etched onto the Earth's surface, as they appeared beyond the capability of ordinary humans at that time. On the ground, they are indistinct reddish-brown winding paths. It is only when viewed from high above that these lines form enormous figures of animals. Did the creators of the lines possess the ability to view the ground from high altitude back then? The Underwater Pyramid from 10,000 years ago Over 20 years ago, a diving guide accidentally discovered an ancient underwater ruin near Yanagani Island, Japan, revealing a submerged civilization dating back approximately 10,000 years. 
Since then, numerous mind-boggling stone structures, including massive stone blocks, stone pillars, large stepped constructions, canals, caves, and carvings, have been continuously found in this marine area. In the sea area of Nishizaki, the westernmost point of Yanagani Island, a massive pyramid constructed with stacked rocks has been discovered. At the top of this immense pyramid, there are structures resembling city gates, corridors, and watchtowers. Within such complex architectural undertakings, what kind of advanced civilization lies buried? Where did they come from, after all? There is far more evidence of other intelligent civilizations on Earth than just the examples mentioned. However, to paint an accurate picture of Earth's development from its inception to the present, there are still many puzzle pieces that have yet to be found. Building upon this foundation, some scholars have put forward bold hypotheses. They propose that human development occurs in cycles, with different civilizations existing on Earth during different periods. Cataclysmic events have destroyed those civilizations, even leading to the extinction of the majority of species at that time. The survivors then propagate and develop from a primitive state, entering the next phase of civilization, only to be destroyed again by the next global catastrophe. Earth's civilizations repeat in a cyclical pattern, over and over again. Of course, this process does not exclude the involvement of extraterrestrial civilizations. What exactly lies at the heart of this mystery, let us anticipate together. Thank you for watching.